Rescue, one of the largest providers of fresh cut produce is right here in Sacramento. Yeah, that only means one thing. The produce man, Michael Marks, is there. He's at Tam's Fresh Cut, living a good life. Hey, Mike. Boy, I am today, and you'll never believe what they do here. David Tam has put this together. Unbelievable. I am standing on about 60 tons of, guess what? 60 tons of beans, dry oh, beans. That's right, 60 tons. Here are some of the varieties. Take a look at some of these varieties of beans. Uh, you guys know navy beans, black beans, and pinto beans, right? Sure, mm -hmm. I know all those three, yeah. They, they account for about 75% of all the dried beans grown here in the United States. But right here in California, there's a crazy guy, king of the bean, I call him. Look what he's growing, eye of the goat, black valentine, tarbay, which is an old city in France, pigeon pea, and, oh, you'll love this one. Take a look at this one. Green flagellate. That's actually the Rolls Royce of beans really? in yeah. France. So many different varieties. Here he is, the king of the bean, uh, Chip Morris. What in the world? Now, your, your grandmother, I understand, uh, was born in Woodland five years after it became a city. So you went from Woodland to drying beans, or to, to these beans. Uh, how, how'd that happen? Uh, well, I've been a farmer. Our family's been farmers all, all our lives. My grandfather even homesteaded in Woodland, or just outside of Woodland. And um, I was tired of tomatoes. I was tired of commodity crops. I wanted things that were specialty, not just the normal grind it out. So specialty, yeah, he grows about 60 different varieties of beans. And here at Tam's, right here in South Sacramento, uh, they are hand Hey, who speaks English here? Uh, yeah, you're looking at me. What, 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 what are you looking for here? I'm looking for the pe the beans. There's a name is for skip, snow pick snow cake. All right. So what they're looking for here is they're making sure that these are nothing but beans because you can find a lot of pebbles actually in these beans. Look at these be uh, pebbles right here. So it's very very easy for these pebbles to get through. So you, they are doing this unbelievably by hand, you guys, right here. Uh, Chip, where are some of these beans shipped to, by the way? You ship these all over the world, right? Uh, we pretty much stay all over the United States because there's different rules coming into some of these other countries and everything. We do once in a while for some uh, chef that has some special need or something, but we don't right. do it regularly. All right, and some of these beans can sell for, wow, $10, $15 a pound or, or more. Uh, here's one. Marianne, you'll like this one. Take a look at this. Okay. Good mother. I'm looking. Uh, there Good you go. Good mother beans. Good, Good mother, mother beans. beans. That unbelievable right here. Millions of pounds, tons of beans being sorted by hand right here going out all over the United States. Who would have thought? Hey, coming up in the next hour, you guys, we're peeling onions. And I'm not going to cry. Really? I promise you. There's yes. a way, there is a way to do it. I know Mike showed me this one There's time. a way. Do you hold matches in your teeth? Because that's what I've heard. <laughs> hold matches in your teeth. <laughs> a match is a bread in my teeth, too. Mm. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Thank you. 850.